You coming out, Stevie? Huh? You want to come out? So he came, he was about eight inches long. Uh, he comes from a captive bred pair of parents that a guy in Ohio um, evidently has had for, I want to say, decades, and he sells the babies. He hatched in August of 2005. So, and I raised him from the, probably he was two or three months when I got him. I forget exactly when Steve Irwin was killed by that stingray bar, but at some point we named him Steve Irwin in honor of Steve Irwin. Out in the hallway, you'll see a, one that's about that long, and that actually turns out to be this animal's sibling, both, you know, born about 10 years apart, but from the same parents of captive red animals. Uh, the one that's in the tank out there, that one's five or six, and this Steve had outgrown that tank probably, I want to say, within three, three or four years. So that one's already lived in that tank longer. Kind of sloppy as a eater, so you have to balance it between making sure he gets the food, doesn't drop it, and decides not to take a piece of you with him. So reptiles are notorious at not having good depth perception because their eyes are on top of their head and to the side. He can't see right in front of his snout, so one of the things you have to watch out for is he gets excited about his food, and he gets anxious for it, and then once you get close to him, he really can't see what's right there in front of his oh, okay. snout well. Uh, reptiles have, um, have continual tooth replacement, so it's unlike us. If he breaks a tooth off, then he just regrows it. Uh, and actually, a lot of crocodilians, they can learn, they'll learn to recognize individual people. They may treat you differently a little bit. You might... You might, yeah, you might think that that's a little crazy for a reptile, but um, some lizards do that. So a few snakes possibly do that. Certainly crocodilians can do that. Hey, here you go. You want some more? You want a big chunk? Yeah? Okay. These guys, if they're not active, um, they don't digest many calories. They store their fat um, uh, in their tail, basically. So if you, I could kind of monitor his um, nutrition status by just making sure his tail is nice and plump. Oh, the lifespan of these guys, I'd have to look that up to give you a specific number, but 100 years, maybe a little more than 100 years, um, maybe, maybe 80 would be not unlikely. He's not mean in any way. He's pretty well tamed. He's got this little spot right here that he likes to have rubbed, and he'll usually close his eyes like that, um, and he'll even wag his tail a little bit. He loves to have the hose sprayed on him, it's kind of like getting a water pick massage. There you go.